Hello, and welcome to Source Fed Nerd with your daily dose of Table Talk, where we talk about your topics, your questions that you recommend using the hashtag Table Talk uh, on Twitter and Facebook, or going to reddit.com slash r slash Source Fed. My name's Philip DeFranco. I'm Meg Turney. I'm Ross Everett. And I'm Lacey Green. Yeah! It's special! Yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. I, I like that you go, she's special. She's <laughs> special. <laughs> I like squeaky things, so I Yay. appreciate that. I'm very scared since I've been a few gone for a few days. Let's uh -oh. see. Toby uh -oh. Parsons says, Couples pet names for each other. What qualifies as cute and what qualifies as creepy? If you have one, it's creepy. No! <laughs> oh I always God. end up. <laughs> A pet dog names are just creepy. died with that. That was so high. Sir? Yes. Excuse me. Ma'am. Um, I always end up having pet names with boyfriends that are like, hey, fuckface, how you doing? And that's like our cute little. <laughs> I've noticed that they don't have What point face. is this verbal abuse? <laughs> Yeah, what's up, slut? How are you? No, that's yes! my pet name. I that's love my pet it. name for her. Do you have any like cutesy pet names with Lindsay? No. No, no. she's not like your pooter or anything like that. Oh, yep, God. pooter. She, we call her pooter. Who is a gastrointestinal pooter. nickname? Pooter. <laughs> yeah, you have to say it in that accent. Yeah, oh, I'm a pooter. Yeah. No, it still sounds like you're talking about a vagina. Or, or like you're a southern guy trying to buy some pewter. <laughs> pewter. No, I mean, I'll say boo for some boo. reason. Yeah, well, yeah. Is it your, your internet boo, babe. is yeah. Lindsay Boo. Lindsay That's Boo. It. Yeah, so yeah. it works. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. What about yeah, you guys? I, I don't know. I feel like uh, it's kind of a younger thing. Mm. I see a lot of younger people using the really extravagant... Pet names, but me personally, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan. It feels what a little weird of, to me. Yeah. Mm. What are some of the more extravagant mm. pet names? I think oh that's God. a really funny name or adjective for. One pet One that names. I really struggled with was the daddy and mommy thing. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I kind of like get it a little more now, but people who call their significant oh. other. No, 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 no. Oh. It's like when guys are hitting me and they go, "Hey, ma, what's up?" And I'm yeah. like, "No, no, do not call me that. Mama, that's weird. Hey, mommy. Mama, hey, mama. Yeah, nope." A little nope. too much for me, but hey, that's disgusting uh, to me. If I can't someone call me daddy, I'm like, listen, I'm getting a cut of what you're, whatever you're selling on the street, or we're not calling you. <laughs> yeah, I, I, forget, I forget what guy said it on Twitter, but he was like, I don't know if I like it when a girl, I'm like, I'm having sex with, calls me daddy, mm -mm. but it's because I come as soon as they say it, and they only have to say it once, and I was like, hmm. Whoa. It works, but I hate that it works. <laughs> no, I always, you always have like one like. Heidi, I've had that with like a boyfriend before. Heidi, like, Heidi, it's like for Spider Man, like Spider Man. Do you remember what ba Batman, Batman, Spider Man? So many Nobody's right now. Batman, Spider Man. Nobody remembers that cartoon on YouTube. All right, mm. maybe I'm the only one who watches YouTube. No, you are. I'm trying to think if I've ever had like a a, a, a nickname for, and I'm sure that I have. But there, none of them are coming to me right now. For tall, you tall, Juju. That I, that I'm tally, really, tally, tall, Juju. Tall, Tally, Tally, Juju. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Sounds like a drag queen name. <laughs> tally, tally, Welcome Juju. to the stage. Tally, Tally, <laughs> Juju. <laughs> <laughs> I just love, there is so many gifts of you dancing on the internet. And now, now. there's one more. Uh, That's a great I can't help it, I feel the rhythm. <laughs> Um, okay, just for you, SourceFed on Reddit says, you could go to any first screening movie premiere from any time in history, which one and why? Blazing Saddles, hands oh, down. Mm. To like the premiere? I don't yeah. know if there's anything that I would like love to see how people reacted to it, you know? Like Debbie does Dallas. <laughs> What's the is it what is it, Brown Rabbit? What is it, the blowjob movie? <laughs> Screening porn films. Oh, deep throat. <laughs> screening porn films. <laughs> that seems like a good time. Yeah, I mean, it's called deep throat. It's a like, is it a porn? You said it's no, a blowjob. No, it's like a movie where like it's like really famous for like there's a blowjob at the end of the movie. Oh, and there's like, just a, a blowjob in it. It's not like yeah, a movie but it was like the job. first movie that ever had it in it. Not boys don't uh, cry. That would be interesting. See? Like yeah. it was like the first one that ever. Did. Thank you. The for first time a blowjob was on screen. I'd be down to see that. I wish we knew the name of it. What's that? That that drug movie that ends with the two girls getting. <laughs> no, the two girls, they like did the double dildo it's, scene. It's the it's the drug it movie! Was a famous <laughs> movie. <laughs> See how it feels, See how it feels when you're talking about a legitimate movie? Rec room for a dream. dream. I would have loved to be oh, in a theater yeah. just with people like, what the fuck? <laughs> like some like some guy with like his girlfriend and another kid like with his where a guy with his like kid 
Just like, I shouldn't have brought you to this. <laughs> I don't know what, what happened. One irresponsible this. adult was like, oh, this is rated R? Well, let's bring the fan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, another one is Psycho, because uh, that was uh, like one of the biggest twist endings when it first came out. And there was a, a in theaters, there was a cutout of Al, uh, Albert Einstein, because he directed that. <laughs> he directed Albert the Hitchcock. movie. Um, and it had a sign that he was like, please don't tell the ending to other people. It's the only one we got. And I thought that was just a great way to kind of be like, okay, I'll, I'll look it up. I'll I'm look it up with you. you. Yeah. I'm with you on this one. Yeah, I like that ending. Yeah. Uh, I can't really th- I kind of like the idea of going to something that's sexy. It's called like Brown Some, Rabbit like, or something. Thank you. Brown Rabbit Hole? First hold? woman naked. No, first man naked. Thank you. Who's All in right. that audience? Good. Forgetting Sarah Marshall? Was Wait, that did anyone say Wizard of Oz? I said Wizard of Oz. When they introduced color? Oh, oh. oh you know which one I wanted to go see? I'm changing my answer entirely. Yeah. Blazing Saddles Mine's would be amazing. But the first movie of that train, that was like, this was back when like film first happened. And it was a train coming at the screen and the theater cleared out because people thought it was a real train. What? Yeah. Whoa. And like they freaked out and panicked. DJ knows what I'm talking yeah, about, it's, right? It's a KKK film. It's a <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> KKK. It's a KKK. The train? What? Listen. Yes, Glory of the Nation was revolutionary I, and very historic, but you are a damn KKK member now. But I, they, well, they're all scared, and I just want to be there to revel in their. I'm Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> we got one of them self hating Jews. Okay, this one's from Dope Freedom, which is. <laughs> he also loved that film. His, yeah, he does. Dope Freedom. No, this guy looks ethnic. All right, if you're. <laughs> What the fuck is what? wrong with you? All right. All right, go on. If you're drunk, what's the first and last thing you do? Uh, I, when I, you know, I'm so lame. I'm like a responsible alcoholic. I drink as much water as <laughs> possible through the side of my mouth. I'm just like, oh, this is gonna, I need to. I have been, I haven't been hungover in years. Wow. Oh. You know what? Uh, water helps. Coconut mm-hmm. water. I, I, for my 21st birthday, you know, like that's when you kind of go overboard. I should have been a mess the next morning, but I drank one of those just giant things of coconut water before I went to bed, and I woke up the next morning totally fine. But have you compared that to just regular water? Yes. Was it special to coconut? Uh, yeah, coconut water I felt like did a better job than regular water. Like hydrated you better? Yeah. Um, I actually got pretty sloshed in Japan when I was there, and ramen, oh yeah, I should have yeah. been hurt the next day, because we were doing shots of tequila, which never ends well for me, <laughs> and I had the hottest, spiciest ramen this I a mistake. Yep. Oh. oh, it was absolutely like, no, please, oh, God, okay, we're doing this. Um, no, and then I had ramen, and I woke up the next day, and I was like, who's ready to go do Japanese stuff? Me. So, ramen. Maybe the ramen I just eat, gets you really I pumped for like Japanese stuff. Well, yeah. I know, right? Mm, first and last thing I do. Well, first is probably just try to enjoy myself. <laughs> Whatever is going on. Depends on the context. But last thing, I'm kind of like you, the water, and probably... Sleeping. Yeah, <laughs> passing, passing. <laughs> on your left side. Have you ever have you ever been so drunk that you're just like, I need to concentrate on not dying. I'm yeah. actively trying to stay alive. The spins and you're trying to fall asleep and it's like this is not good. My no. least favorite thing is waking up still drunk. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> you like stumble out of bed. Like, how is how is this? Sleep possible? didn't do anything. <laughs> right. yeah. Ugh. Oh. Draw uh, topic. All right. Is, Let's do is it. Is it gonna be a good or a bad one? Back slappy wants to know. <laughs> That's my poor name. <laughs> <laughs> Tolly Tolly Juju and Max Lappy. Yeah. What was your dream job growing up and why? I wanted to sing. Really? Yeah. You wanted to be a singer? Uh, hey, Phil. Then I realized, no, it. I can't no, sing. No, it's your stage. No. Shut up, Ross. <laughs> yeah, me and Ross. I wanted to sing and or be a firefighter. Oh. So neither of those you things. Know what? Everyone wants there to be aren't a enough singing fire 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 fire. fire. There just aren't enough. Yeah. Um, I've I've told before when I was a kid I wanted to be a stripper. Really? I thought that was gonna be the coolest job. <laughs> uh, when I, I, I was, how old were you? I was six, I think. So okay. I'm, I'm assuming my older brothers fed me the word, thinking I, that was fun. It would be funny. Um, and then the school called my mom to say Did your daughter said she wanted to be a stripper. Meg's <laughs> drawings are looking a little risky. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? Did you know that it was more than just like dancing and people like staring at you? No, no, okay. I had no concept of what uh, a real stripper was. So I think at that was. point it's like, oh, it's kind of cute because like once you, I think you get to like maybe nine, oh, it's yeah. creepy. No, I didn't. I gave up the dream. <laughs> I mean, it's right creepy away. in general, yeah. but it gets. Yeah, I gave creepier. up the dream right when the school called my mom. My mom was like, you, you don't know what that is. You yeah. don't want to be a stripper. Did she explain right? it to you? Would no, she, she just said like, you don't want to be like, no, no, no. Yeah. If a nine year old, um, if a nine year old has a dream, you don't let them go on the bus to school. No. You're like, I'm driving you. 
<laughs> and I'm done, picking guys. you up. Yeah, I, I, my mom could have just supported you and been like, great, she wants to be a stripper, let's cut her out of school right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start working those dance moves. Yeah. Um, no, I wanted to be a teacher, and so I got my degree so I could be a teacher whenever this crazy thing ends, I can be a teacher. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. What about you, Ross? Uh, I wanted to be an NBA player, and my mom immediately <laughs> crushed that dream. I always give her shit for it, too, just because, like, I was like, I want to be an NBA player. And she was like, well, but <laughs> well, look at the rest say, of our family. You were saying that your parents uh, were just, like, they make you scared of doing anything. It, in terms of what? what? When you said, I'm going to go for a run, your dad was like, hey, Oh, nice. yeah, well, like, I wanted to play not football professionally, but I love <laughs> football. And I was like, man, I would have really liked to have played football growing up. And even to this day, they're like, that's dangerous. <laughs> you can get hurt. You can get really hurt. Isn't it kind of dangerous? Dangerous though, football. But people, could you bit. be any more Jewish? Well, when we, when, with your when family? we, no, my family, we're, we're <laughs> Jewish. Can you get around? In, in their defense, when we played football on the beach, uh, five minutes in, someone had a bloody nose. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, Richard yeah. Ryan tried to kick sand in someone's face and slapped a dude on our team's <laughs> yeah. face. Yeah. So Richard Ryan tried to wait. No, but there's a little kick sand in someone. In, in his defense, it was Kevin Bruick. Yeah. Oh, right. uh, okay, no, it's better now. But I've never Kevin, had a broken bone. It. I've never like in, like we we got scuffed up on the beach, and I thought I was like, yeah, like we got hurt doing something good. <laughs> like, you, <laughs> like you were like turned on by yeah, hurt me some more. Well, yeah, nah, yeah, I was very aroused. Uh, but no, there was there was also like I wanted to go for a run to like get in shape, and my dad's like, be careful on your knees. Uh, you want to be careful. So they're like, just kind of worried. Yeah, 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 but I mean, like they 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 lived their life, and they went out and they got hurt, and they're like our kids will never experience <laughs> pain. <laughs> or life in, or life in general. general. Yeah. So oh, now I'm, I'm going paintballing this weekend. If anyone wants to come shoot me, I'm not wearing a mask. We're going hard. No, no. <laughs> That's so right. so no. Mine's Mom. a little bit different from all of yours. Yeah. I wanted to deliver babies. <laughs> Trisha. I know. Oh, yeah. Trisha. Trisha. When I was a kid, I was just like, they're so cool. Oh, so it wasn't about the baby. It was about the vagina. It was about the vagina. Okay, I, like, I, I can respect that. I always the vagina things, too. Like, okay. you know, look at them and make sure they're... They're healthy. Okay. They're healthy up and up. Yeah. For you, yeah. is it like a scientific How thing? old were you when you felt like that? Like seven or eight. That's so interesting. Yeah. At least you had your yeah. own. Because around seven or eight, I was interested in vagina. And I was like, <laughs> where do I find these? <laughs> where are yeah. they? In books. In when books, yeah. When you're seven. Well, I, I first saw it in a book mm -hmm. originally. And then I realized that I had one. Which made it <laughs> that much cooler to realize hey. that Were you the kid, though? Okay, so like this is a, sort of a creepy question, but I promise it's not coming from a creepy place. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Because people who are like, oh, I want to be a firefighter, let's play fire, and I'm going to save you. Were you like, hey, friends who are girls, I'm going to be yeah, vagina faster. How many of your childhood friends did you molest? I think I might have played that game. <laughs> In high school, though, right? It was, all, it was all at a safe distance. Okay, I never... Which makes it a little creepier. I know, I know. I would, like, sit in the library with my little vagina books, like, for hours, and I would put... I was so sneaky, I would put it in other books so that no one knew I was reading about what vaginas. Little I love vagina the phrase books. little vagina. Like, They're books about little like vaginas. Sex books. No one read about, like, how sex happens, <coughs> how babies are born. How do you get a hold of that at eight? Well... At the library, the there's, library. there's really? a whole... Yeah. There's a That's what's in the aisle. library? Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know you know what's in the library. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole section that you be quiet around. The little vagina books. Yeah. Phil, yeah. you want to take are. us home? Uh, yes. God, we were. Songs. <laughs> um, Abraham Russo says, since Pacific Rim came out and there is a new Godzilla coming out, what do you think of the future for monster movies? Uh, dude, Pacific Rim was awesome because I it was like they gave a kid, I forget if someone said it in here, it's like they gave a kid a hundred million dollars and they were like, just do it. And it was awesome. I don't care. Really? I, I love Pacific Rim. Yeah, also, it should be, Lacey, you should understand that I also like Michael Bay movies. Okay. That's, I'm all about it. I'm all about just like... Oh, so that's a thing? <laughs> Let's yeah. go to just yeah. random yeah. extreme. Yeah. <laughs> like, it makes no sense. Like, I, I've also said it in other videos. Like, it, it has, like, the skeleton of, like, a, a real, like, a father-son story and, like, a love story that never really happens. But mm. they just bring you to those moments. I don't know. It's good. It's a good movie. Anyway. Spoilsies. I'm for it. Nah, don't do that to me. Well, have you, you said something that made me think of uh, Axe Cop. I haven't seen it, but apparently it's written by a six-year-old and, and Axe like, Cop? his brother is, yeah, it's just called Axe Cop. It's written by a six-year-old and his brother's like an awesome animator. So he just puts these awesome oh, animations yeah. in the writings of a six-year-old. So awesome. and it's, it's supposed to be amazing. I think Jordan Peele is one of the voices in the cartoon oh as well. God. So I, I mean, like, I'm going to check it out. I probably should have before talking about it, but <laughs> we'll go I'm through it together. I'm just going to wonder about that six-year-old and what's going on mm. in his mind. Well, well, it's, it's like, yeah, I mean, hey, Axe Cop, that's the thing that 
six year old would think of. Yeah. Give me the name. Axe it's a cop, true. and it he is. has an axe. He's axe cop. <laughs> well, I mean, but the, for monster movies, I feel like it's hard. Like I think back to the Godzilla movie that we got last mm-hmm. time. Oh, Matthew Broderick. Yeah, hey. Matthew oh, Broderick. Yeah. Saved I got the out world. of I got out of school to see that movie. My friends and I all went. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you saw it and it made you sick and had to go? Yeah. Home? <laughs> no, it was like a big event. I remember it was right around one of my friends' birthdays. So her mom took all of us out of school to see the Godzilla movie, and I wore like these new platform wedges. I was very proud oh, of Spice Girls. Very, yes. Oh my God! I wanted to be Baby Spice. That's why I got the shoes. It was why real you life. Be uh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to spice up my life. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. No, but I I remember, I love monster movies. I love big, over the top, I love action movies, Mm -hmm. and they're always like that. So I haven't seen Pacific Rim yet, because I was in Japan when it came out, so I will see it. And I'm going to be awesome. Pacific Rim, I think it would be it Japan. doesn't yeah. come out in Japan until next month. So really? yeah, it didn't come out same day in Japan. Hmm. So we saw posters for it everywhere, and I was like, oh, it's out today, but I couldn't see it. Yeah. I know, I, w- I would have seen yeah. it in Japan. I don't know. We want to go one more? Yeah, let's yeah. do one more. Okay. Um, at Vitamin Strip says tipping. Is it optional? I think everyone should. Oh, yeah. that's interesting because right, in Japan it. I tipped pretty much everyone we everywhere we went, but in Japan you don't have to. It's not like expected. But it's not looked US. down upon when you do it. No, it's not insulting. Uh, someone tried to tell me. I think Ryan Higo was like, "You're not supposed to tip," and I <laughs> finally asked our coordinator, and they were like, "No, you totally can. It's not rude. It's just not expected." Right, right, huh. right. They must love when Americans come then. Because then they do it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but they also get paid better. Oh, they absolutely do. There, yeah. there were all these stories about like places in the United States that actually started like offering. Good wages, healthcare, and stuff to their and servers, no and as like a yeah, yeah, and they they said no tips. People have been still tipping, yeah. so it's like it's not necessarily working because they just raise the price of everything. <laughs> as a former server, I love the idea yeah. of yeah. having like income that I know would come in because yeah. when you work like a Sunday lunch, you don't oh, know if yeah. you're getting money. Yeah, yeah. like you yeah. don't know. Twenty bucks. Hey, yeah, yeah I, I love Trisha Hirschberger and uh, her fellow Christians, but sometimes those fuckers leave little cards that say, you know, here's your tip. <laughs> Find Jesus. <laughs> oh, great. I have a scavenger hunt. That's what you're giving me? <laughs> it's a clue. It's at the church. Um, wow. But, yeah, I think I think if you're in the United States, yeah, tip. Uh, Please. I don't know. My thought is, as coming from a former server as well, if you don't have the money to go out and actually, if you're scraping together the pennies to just make your bill, fuck you. You know what I mean? Like, well, fuck, I, I th- factor I think she in needs, the tip. I think she factor means fuck you tip. for going out to a place where you're probably going to spend more money. Right. That's what I mean. Like, it's, it's Or just fuck you in general. No. I don't mean if you're like, Make don't have the you. money. F- come on. <laughs> I mean, like, factor that into your, like, okay, I'm going to go and the burger is $9 and I'm going to tip $2. Like, think about that because it's it's part of the meal. And it sucks, like you said, when it's like a Sunday brunch and someone's like, here's five twenty five, my exact bill. And you're like, motherfucker. What's the proper, what's the proper amount to tip? Mm, 20%. 20%. 20%. Yeah. It keeps if going up. Suck, when I was a server, it was only like 15. Yeah. If they suck, it's 15%. Yeah, that's the least I'll do is 15%. Wait, 15%. If you say if they suck? If, yeah. if it's a bad waiter, I will tip 15%. I'm, I'm bipolar. I, uh, I went to this place called Sinopolis and... Uh, and it's a strip club. It's yeah, a strip club. Like no, it's, it's a very <laughs> nice movie. It's a very nice yeah. movie. It's a very nice movie theater. Yeah. Uh, and we got drinks, and it was something like forty dollars. And uh, and I don't know. It took like thirty five minutes, and it wasn't like the bar was backed up. Like I saw my drinks, and I was like, should I just go up there? And like so, then I'm like debating internally if I want to grab it. And then like in my head, I'm like, then they're gonna think I'm stealing it. So anyway, we get it's just terrible service. It's actually probably the worst service I've ever had. Uh, and so I was just like. I literally, for the first time, I was like, zero, and then I wrote on it, please don't be a server. Whoa. That's it. I was like, but then when we went in the theater, <laughs> oh, when we went in the yeah. theater, uh, the guy, amazing service, and because I was like, I have to even my karma oh, out, yeah. I, gave, I gave him just like a hundred, and I was like, yeah. thank you. And awesome. uh, yeah, I don't know. I just did you say tell your friend not to be yeah. a server? <laughs> tell your friend not to be a server. Well, I'm actually just right. giving money yeah. to everyone. Just shame him to out. Every, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of messed up though. Like the, the restaurants pass on costs that they should be taking up, especially yes. these really fancy pants restaurants. You mm. know they're rolling it in. It's like, why are you passing on that cost to your clients? Well, you have to oh, buy your own uniform. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you have to buy your own shoes and shit. Yeah. And it's mm-hmm. expensive. Yeah. It's not like yeah. cheap stuff. No. no. Well, I'll write notes and stuff to servers too on on things. Like I remember being at um, the counter once, and I paid with a card, and like we, I think two of us paid with cards, and we just split it, which is like totally normal. And the guy yeah. came in, and he's like, "You really should have said you were gonna split it when you started, and then like grab the things like before we had uh. paid." So I was I like I gave him like ten percent. I think it was like the absolute like rock bottom, and then wrote like. 
maybe you shouldn't lecture people before they tip you. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious yeah, though, because weird. I was a waiter as well, and splitting was super easy. Oh, yeah. splitting super, was super, incredibly super easy, easy when I was a server. And I want to know from you guys, comment below if you're a server, is it harder at some places? Because I've gotten guff like that before, like, oh, I have to split this. And I'm like, dude, it's a touch screen. It's, yeah, no, like, I, it was easy when I did it too. Sure, it's like, if it's six cards, that can be fucking annoying, but like yeah. two cards? But, uh, don't be annoying, but it? it's still relatively easy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, stop complaining about it, because it makes it so much more complicated between cards, no one has cash, yeah. how much yeah. do you yeah. owe? There are also modifiers, and I think a lot of it does end up coming down to where you work and how they're working you, because mm -hmm. I know that I've, I, as a server, I had given bad service before because they gave me too many tables. Mm. And yeah. you're just like, and yeah, you're just yeah. running around forgetting everything. Yeah. I had a table leave on me. Once. Straight, yeah. yeah. It straight up just like got up and left. I mean, like we were a packed sushi bar by a sushi restaurant or by a, a college campus. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, we had zero missions. They put a sushi bar next to a better sushi restaurant. <laughs> no, we were next to a college campus and there was one table that was in there and I was like just running around seeing a bunch of other people and they probably waited like 15 minutes before I got to them. And they just up and left, and I lost that table. But, you know, I'm sorry if you're watching this. You probably don't remember me because you never saw me. <laughs> they, watch it, they watch every day just carving a little niche into their skin. Yeah. Yeah. And on that note of self-mutilation, I think that's table talk. Uh, thank you for your questions. Uh, of course, remember to submit them the normal ways. My name's Philip DeFranco. I'm Meg Tarney. I'm Ross Everett. And I'm Lacey Green. <laughs> I don't know what that was. What? You're, you're singing Country Road. Going back to, yeah. Country Road. I'm taking home. That kind of morning. <laughs> it's a Country Road kind of morning. <laughs> you know, Phil, if you're so interested in being a single firefighter, I say. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be both both the jobs, yeah. but that would be very interesting. There aren't enough singing firefighters. You put out fire with song. You, that you sounds know you like do? you're peeing you're on it. Like you're peeing and you're singing. That's what you should do whenever you're like going to the bathroom. bathroom. You can be like the singing Practice. fireman. Or you just sing don't, so beautifully. Don't, don't shake your head like you don't the do a fireman. Tears put it out. In the bathroom? You never do the peeing fireman? No. Fire. What?